Hobbies, welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a picture of my memory box on Facebook. I actually asked a couple of you guys if I should do travel memory box or a travel memory journal. And I decided to do the box route because I do buy souvenirs every now and then and I, I collect things like ticket stubs and maps. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create these memory boxes. Now, there's a couple of methods on how to do this. You can obviously go out and buy a box and cover it up with fabric and then decorate it. But I'm actually showing you how to make the box completely from scratch. I can get pretty anal about boxes if they don't all match up if they're not the same size It would just make me so crazy I've decided that if I can make these boxes from scratch I can just make one every single time I travel and I put them on the bookshelf They all look really nice and pretty and aligned like a set of pristine encyclopedias But if you want to learn how to make a box completely from scratch go ahead and stay tuned We're gonna get all of our surprise to get started on this DIY Okay, so to start out you're going to need to cut out a rectangle either on cardboard or just really thick poster paper and the measurement for that would be eight and a half inches by 13 and three quarter inches so once you got that cut out you're going to draw out two lines on the rectangle the first one is going to be six and a quarter inches from the edge and the second line will also be six and a quarter inch from the other edge and that will leave you an inch and a quarter right in the middle So now that you have the lines drawn out, what you're going to do is you're just going to score it, which means that you make a cut right on top of it, but you don't cut all the way through the cardboard or the poster paper. Once you do this, you should be able to fold the cardboard paper and it shouldn't cut all the way through. It should just only fold like this and it kind of looks like a notebook at this point. Now I'm going to cover it completely with Mod Podge and I'm just going to use a big giant paintbrush to just brush it all over. Okay, so with the fabric laid out, I'm just going to go ahead and take the cardboard paper and just lay it right on top. And I'm just going to flip it to the right side and smooth out any lumps and bumps. At this point, you also might want to just fold the cardboard a little bit because you want the fabric to cover it but not so tight that it doesn't even fold. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the extra fabric leaving about an inch hanging off of the edge of the box. Now zooming into the corners, what I do is I cut out a perfect little square. Um, I do this on all four of the corners. Next, I apply a small little strip of glue on the edge of the box and I'm just going to go ahead and fold in the edges of the fabric. And I do like to cut the corners off just because I want to relieve the bulk that is going to happen on the corners when you fold all the edges together. Now, instead of fabric, you can easily use maps that you've gotten from the country or the city that you visited. Same steps, you're going to go ahead and apply some Mod Podge to your box completely. And with maps, since they don't really stretch like fabric, you're going to have to place the box right down and just fold the map onto the box. And now I'm just going to apply a strip of glue on the edges of the box. And just like before, I let it dry for a little bit before I fold in the extra pieces of the map. Okay, so now you have the outer cover of the box finished, and now we just gotta turn it into a box. Okay, and to finish up the box, what you're going to do is cut out a long rectangle out of the cardboard. The measurement for that would be 20 and a half inches by one and a quarter inch. Just like before, you're going to make two markings, just like before on the cardboard box. The first marking is going to measure six inches from one end of the strip. The second marking is also going to measure 6 inches in from the other end of the strip. And that would leave you 8 inches right in the middle. And now, just like before, you're going to go ahead and score right on the line. So make a nice little slit on those markings. And now when you bend and fold it, it's going to just look like a rectangular U, just like that. Now using my trusty E6000 glue, I'm going to go ahead and carefully apply a small strip of glue on the edge going completely around the rectangular U. 
And now I'm going to take that strip and I'm going to apply it right onto the box, making sure that the ends only touch the first fold on the box. As long as it's only touching the first fold, the box will still be able to close. And at this point, it's good to lay a book on it or something so that it can dry for about 20 minutes or so. Once it's dried, you can go ahead and open up the box completely and apply some glue on the edge of that strip. Okay, now you can go ahead and just close up the box and make sure that you push the strip to the middle part of the box. Now, once you're done, you can go ahead and make a ton of these and stack them on top of each other and just let them dry maybe for a couple of hours before you start filling it up with awesome relics from your travels. Now, I usually like to fill it up with extra maps that I picked up on my travels, ticket stubs of things that I've done. And once you're done filling it up, you can go ahead and close up the box and just stick it on the bookshelf somewhere. Not only does it keep all of your memories, but it also makes really cute decor. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. As you guys know, one of my resolutions is to travel more. By creating these little memory boxes, I'm not only traveling, but I'm also really taking in every single place that I've traveled to. Um, I think this is such a great way to store your pictures as well, because sometimes your pictures can be all over the place, and you, know, you just throw it in like a drawer, and you just don't ever look at it again. So it's nice to just have it all in one area with your ticket stubs and your maps. And if I ever get a little sad, I can pull out the one of these boxes boxes and just take myself down a memory lane. Also, it's a good way if your friends are to ask you, hey, where should I eat? Where should I stay at? You can just reach one of those boxes and be like, hey, just check out my memory box and all the fun that we had and you'll enjoy this country. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this DIY. If you're going to try this out, be sure to send me a photo with the hashtag SLOABN to any one of my socials. I would love to take a look at it and I would love to share it with others. If you like this video, be sure to like it down below, share it with everyone that you know. Of course, support by subscribing to to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to rock on slowly. Bye! Hey Slobies! Welcome back to my channel. A couple of you guys on Instagram and on Facebook have requested a tutorial on how I've been wearing my hair up lately. If you look at some of my more recent videos, I've been wearing my hair in this style just because I am currently trying to transition to little to no shampoo.